not natural for us to to want to be drawn toward people who are different from ourselves. Absolutely. So, so I'm going to say one more time, Councilman, it's deliberate and intentional. college campus or high school or wherever you are, we, we, we seem to self-segregate, whether it be along economic, racial, ethnic lines. It's time to break the cross-cultural barrier on the Hardin-Simmons campus. And Peter Vogel says students and faculty can do it too. That was Vogel's message today at a luncheon for camp at the campus facility. The, co uh, the cultural guru stressed his Safe to Relate program, which is aimed at taking all types of relationships from marriage to professional across cultural barriers. Bogle says we all have to look inside ourselves to recognize and appreciate diversity. That one of the most important steps in, in maximizing these relationships is being able to, to take a, a self-inventory on who we are and the insensitivities that we possess. This is not going to be a policy but a value, is what Safe to Relate is all about. And I think you've done a wonderful job in pulling this model together, and one that is simple and easy to remember. 30 seconds, I looked at it and said, that makes sense. In response to a fight at a recent high school football game, one small town in Carbon County is talking about cultural and racial tolerance. WFMZ's Jocelyn Mose reports. The FBI is investigating Friday night's fight at a high school football game in Carbon County. Police say more than 100 people were involved in the fight on November 4th that was reportedly fueled by racism. Since then, Panther Valley school officials have made cultural and racial tolerance a top priority. To get the ball rolling, school officials held a town hall meeting Monday night, moderated by the director of Safe to Relate. That's an organization that specializes in the promotion of tolerance. What better way to celebrate, to recognize and acknowledge an expression of peace, of unity, of hope, of togetherness within a community. One by one, community members shared their own personal stories and struggles. It's been almost six years since Matthew Shepard was murdered. Some say it was because he was gay. Mr. Peter Vogel travels the world spreading the message of cultural diversity and acceptance. His Safe to Relate workshops promote cross-cultural relationships. Being able to take a personal look at ourselves uh, with regard to our own skeletons, our own insensitivities, um, our own realities as they pertain to people who are different from ourselves, and being able to take an honest look at that and commit to, to changing them. We need to have almost a blitzkrieg, almost like a Peace Corps effort throughout our whole system in which we teach people that, hey, you know, it's wrong. You don't treat X like that. You don't treat X that way. Wherever we as an organization uh, goes to implement Safe to Relate, and we've been in Africa, Uganda, East Africa, we've been in Asia, we've been in South America, we've been all over this country, Northern Ireland, we, we, we make it a point to, to have a lot of small group discussions mm -hmm. and surveys. The bottom line is, no matter where I've gone, to the most remote areas of Africa with translation, in Japan, the same um, need is expressed. Absolutely. People want to be valued. Absolutely. Absolutely.